What's going on YouTube? GeoSnow right here. So in today's video, I have something special for you. I finally finished the iOS developer course that I have created for you, and it's now available through Phone Lab. And now in this course, if you take it, you're going to learn how to build iOS applications from zero to App Store. So um, you're pretty much going to learn absolutely anything you need to know as a beginner from Swift and programming in Swift and making various stuff in Swift to even building real world applications. And um, I've been creating this course with Phone Lab at phonelab.teachable.com. The link for the course is going to be in the description. And uh, therefore, it's pretty slick looking, it's quite nice. And, um, you know, we spent quite a few months in building this and ensuring that it's going to be a good course that you can understand that can help you become an iOS developer and um, a Swift programmer. And you can definitely check it out right now. It's finally live. We launched it. So um, if you take a look in here, uh, this is the class curriculum. This means that you're going to be able to see exactly what you're going to get if you purchase the course what uh, classes you're going to take and uh, you even have a couple free uh, classes this marked with preview in here in order to see if you like how I'm teaching if you like the way I'm teaching and if you like what I am teaching and if you feel like learning so uh, you can definitely take this um, this free uh, classes in here and uh, if you decide you would like to to take the course you can check out the enrollment page in here so um what you will learn in this course if you take it? Well, as I say, this doesn't require any programming knowledge. So this means you're going to start from scratch, from the very basics, and you're going to go up to building real world applications and even publishing them into the App Store. And uh, in order to do that, I am going to teach you how to set up your development machine, how to install Xcode, how to configure it, how to pair your device with Xcode and get an Apple developer account and so on. And then, of course, I teach you about the Xcode itself, the interface of it, where you can find various stuff in Xcode, where you can find a color picker, where you can find the buttons to add objects to the screen and so on. I explain pretty much how Xcode works so that you can feel familiar with it. Then we're going to learn about Swift. Swift is the uh, current programming language Apple uses and it's pretty, pretty easy to, to learn and um, you're going to like it if you take a look. And um, yeah, you even have a, a free um, video in here that you can, uh, you can take to see exactly what's going on, what's the Swift programming language and whether you understand what's going on in there. But anyways, it's a pretty, pretty simple and easy to, to learn programming language. So um, you're going to learn all the basics of the programming language itself, uh, working with the playground, the variables, constants, data types, basic functions, advanced functions, um, if statements and conditionals, classes, uh, for loops, while loops, and so on. These are required in order to be able to learn how to code and in order to be able to write your own code and to have your own code logic. After you learn that and you're able to write your own code, we're moving on to more advanced Swift and that is making applications that really have uh, real world scenarios. So we start with building a hello world application that we're running on the device. Then we're controlling labels and UI elements. We add uh, like buttons and text to the application, graphics and so on. We're customizing the graphics and the user interface. We even get to learn how to play audio from our application if you want to make like a music player or I don't know, you want to play sounds from your app. Integration with 3D Touch, Touch ID, to show alerts on the screen, sharing from your application and so on. So um, you learn pretty much a lot of secrets that uh, I wish somebody would have taught me when I started uh, you know, learning iOS. Because um, they're pretty hard to find if you, if you just go ahead and Google everything. Because most of the articles you find on Swift are either outdated for other versions of Swift or are simply not working. So uh, everything you have here is up to date to the uh, latest version of Swift, which is by now Swift 4. And uh, you get to learn pretty well explained. Just take a look at the free samples. So um, then we're moving to a little bit of terminal and Cocoa Pods. I explain you exactly how to use the terminal on a Mac OS and what are the Cocoa Pods, which are pretty much uh, letting you add code uh, from GitHub, uh, various projects from GitHub into your app to enhance various functions or to add various controls like 
you know, slick looking progress bars and stuff like that. Then we're moving to the security and here we're covering a little bit iOS jailbreaking and we're talking about jailbreak detection, um, how jailbreak works and um, bad practices, good practices on iOS and how to protect your application, how to protect your device if you're jailbroken and so on. And we're even building an application that is able to store data securely on a device. So that's pretty nice in my opinion. Then we get to build a real world application and submit it to the App Store. Now for this, you're going to learn how to build the iOS battery and RAM monitoring application. I've been uh, posting it on Twitter a couple weeks ago. And um, we're going to, to start from zero, from planning the application and creating the assets like the graphics, the buttons and so on, to gathering the cocoa pods that we're going to need, then to creating the application, sketching it, and adding various components like progress bars, buttons, and we're going to make a pretty well looking application. And then of course, we're going to get to test it and publish it to the App Store. So you learn absolutely anything from zero to uh, complete, to publish on the App Store. So um, at the end, you're going to also be able to take a uh, final exam from what you've learned, to obtain a certificate that is actually recognized, a real developer certificate from Phone Lab, if you get a good score on the final exam here. And uh, this is not all actually, the course is going to be updated even more. So um, I'm going to pretty much keep it updated every week with new content. Uh, for example, next week we're going to have manipulating iOS camera on your application, installing Firebase and configuring it, creating a QR code or barcode reader app for iOS and of course publishing it to the App Store, playing video content and so on. So um, it's going to be a uh, continuous uh, learning curve for you, it's going to be a continuous learning source so that you can always get back and see something new and every week learn something new on how to code. So if you're a beginner in the iOS and you want to start building applications for iOS, you want to start programming in Swift and learning how to code for iOS devices and possibly macOS because Swift is pretty much cross-platform, then take this course, it's definitely for you. We've paid a lot of attention into making this course so that you can understand it so that um, everything is explained easily so that you don't lose the track of data and um, you're going to probably ask me about the price of course and you're going to be surprised to know that the price is pretty much pretty small compared to other courses on the market and this one is pretty much $35 per month and it's pretty much just about $1 per day and you get all these videos and everything that is updated while you are subscribed so uh, I think it's a very good value in there. And if you want, you can even subscribe for one year and get all the updates and stuff. And of course, save 60 bucks. Now, what makes this course special? Aside from the fact that uh, there's a lot of information in there that you don't get from other courses that are just presenting you the basics and then, yeah, that's it. Well, I will provide you assistance with your code uh, and you can ask me questions that I'm going to actually replay. We have like a forum for each um, video, for each lesson, on which you can ask questions and you can post your code and we can help you with your code and we can help you with the process of publishing your first application to the App Store. So uh, you can get support from us, you can get um, you know feedback on your code, whether it's good, where it's um, it should be modified and so on. So that makes this course very special because many, many other courses simply do not provide any sort of feedback to the student, which is very bad. You're going to be able to communicate with us to give us feedback on what you would like to see on this course, which classes would you like to see next, which is quite dope. So if you want and if you're interested in iOS, just go ahead and take this course. Take a look at the free samples first in here, those that are marked with preview, so that you can see uh, pretty much how I explain, what I explain and so on and see if you can understand. And if you can, definitely try this course. So that's pretty much it guys. I uh, really loved making this course, so I really hope you'll like it and I really hope you will uh, take a look at it. So uh, till the next time, do not forget to subscribe to stay updated. I'm Gia Snow. Peace out.